All right. So as I uh, start uh, ex exceeding the number of lines more than 10,000, 20,000, uh, things become difficult to think, at least for me, because uh, I start forgetting what I had done around one month back. And then I will have to again go through the code, read through the things. Now, the idea of having a Sanskrit Panini is, uh, once we have simple sentences like uh, Yadi Ramasya Chaklev Nasti, he gives it to Krishna. The very same sentence can be expressed here. And then uh, what will happen is the number of lines of code reduces huge amount uh, and then it becomes easy to write big software. So that is the idea with which I have started do doing this. Now, is it NLP? Is it natural language processing where we can say anything in Sanskrit and it will execute? No. I am using very simple Sanskrit. Just like any other programming language, I am taking a very limited set of Sanskrit rules, very limited set of uh, activities and then I am trying to uh, get it executed. And uh, yeah, so that is part of Sharda Panini. Now let us see who, uh, who are learning this and who are able to learn this fast. I have students from 5th standard to uh, BSc second year. Uh, they were able to pick this up, the paint part of it, uh, in 10, 10 classes. And I have uh, updated their video in the month of March in my YouTube channel for our kids. Uh, then I am conducting a session in uh, for uh, participants. Most are parents from Canada and USA. And uh, uh, they are uh, finding it uh, 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 very interesting the Indic knowledge system part. They are very delighted to uh, learn that, relearn it in fact. And uh, I have some Indian professionals, young professionals who are learning this uh, from India. And uh, how is this different from uh, no learning a normal coding language? So in a normal coding language what happens is a child is initially introduced to English. right? So we have a child and on that child we are giving a new language. So English is a for English is a language that we give over him, and then over that English we are giving coding. Now this coding also this English is slightly different from the English below, and then he is trying to approach some unknown through another layer of unknown. So that is something that I avoid. So I have a child, I have his own mother tongue, so eighty percent of it is taken for his own mother tongue, and then he is approaching the next directly he is approaching the coding. So that is one difference. Second thing which is different from normal coding is in normal coding what happens is there is a child, there is English and then he is directly approaching coding. So there is no knowledge system inherent. Of course there is a knowledge system uh, but uh, that is a very uh, uh, primitive, I would say it's a, pri I would call it primitive maybe uh, that might be difference of opinion but I call it a primitive knowledge system uh, and then what I am doing here is I have a knowledge system. Knowledge system, for example, I am introducing coding through a knowledge system like astronomy. So he understands a calendar system, he understands astronomy and then through that as a base that he internalizes and through that internalizing he is directly approaching coding. Uh, so worst case he is not becoming a great coder but at least that Indic knowledge system he inherits, it improves his thought process, it improves his uh, uh, analytical skills, uh, thinking ability, etc. Alright, so what about the participant feedback? So, uh, some of them have said it is extremely simple. Some said uh, it is very comfortable to use. Uh, this is specifically from the students. Uh, some parents said uh, I am proud to relearn and understand the Indic knowledge system, how great it is. And uh, uh, the main thing is they get proud of their legacy, whatever they have inherited. Uh, which they unfortunately have not learned. They are proud of that legacy and that pride helps them in uh, going a mile further in coding. So uh, I have uploaded more of these slides exactly what exactly I have For example, Panini I had uh, eight different demos. Uh, I am showing like um, while loop, uh, a loop, I am showing function call. So all these basic constructs I had uploaded in the month of uh, February and they are as part of demos demo 1, demo 2, etc. And uh, you can go to www.shardula-ai.com and this is a site where I have uploaded most of my videos in single place you can see all of them along with explanation and uh, my YouTube channel is for our kids and uh, in case you are interested you can as well drop a message to uh, 63624503343 and uh, uh, it's there in the background you can see it here and then uh, 
currently what i am trying to do is i am trying to uh, uh, have a uh, at least a minimum uh, minimum number of uh, 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 students participants who are able to work on this and uh, try to get their feedback uh, and that will help me to introduce a uh, uh, customize the uh, next level of courses uh, which is the sharda panini and sharda bhaskar so all right uh, thank you uh, dhanyawad namaste